In today's video, we'll be showing you how you can combine Jarvis AI and Surfer SEO to create high quality, optimized blog posts that rank on Google and brings in traffic to your website each day. We'll also be showing you how you can combine AI generated content to help you create 1000, 2000, or even 10,000 word blog post much quicker than before. And when combined with Surfer SEO, you can almost guarantee that your blog post will actually start ranking on Google. And after a lot of trial and errors, we found a process that can almost guarantee that when we create content using Jarvis AI, it'll be optimized thanks to Surfer SEO. So in today's video, we're going to show you the exact process that we follow that's helped our newer blogs to rank thousands of keywords and get thousands of traffic each month. So before we get into how we use Jarvis AI and Surfer SEO together, let's first take a look at what each software provides individually. So Jarvis AI is an AI copywriter. And what it does is it allows you to write copy using an AI. And you can write copy for your emails, for your Facebook ads, for your blog post, and pretty much use it in any place in which you're writing content. And the way that it works is once you sign up for an account for Jarvis, you'll have access to 40 plus templates in which you can use. So depending on what sort of copy you're writing, that'll be the template that you choose. So if you're doing a Facebook ad, of course you would choose Facebook ads. And Jarvis is one of the highest rated and one of the most powerful copywriting AI in the market. To demonstrate quickly how this tool works, we'll just choose one of the templates here. And once you choose a template, all you have to do is fill out the prompts that it gives you. And once you open any template, all you have to do is complete the prompts and you click generate AI content and the AI will then give you content based on what you filled out. So we're using the product description here. And as you can see, we have already some copy that we can use if this was our company. Now there's a whole bunch of templates in which you can use, but for the purpose of this video, we'll be focusing on the long form assistant because we're going to be creating a blog post and the long form assistant is perfect for creating that long form copy that you need when creating an article or a blog post. But if you guys want to see a full tutorial of Jarvis, we've already done a couple tutorials. So I'll leave them in the description below this video. Now Surfer SEO is a software that helps you optimize your content for Google. Whichever piece of content that you want to rank on Google, you just put it into Surfer SEO and it'll give you recommendations as to what you should do if you want to rank that page or that article on the first page of Google. So if I haven't created any content as yet and I want to see what it takes to rank for that content, I would enter that keyword in here and click create content editor. And from there, I'll have a list of recommendations that I can follow that will help me to optimize my content. So I have a better chance of ranking on Google and surfer SEO by itself is a great, great tool. But when you combine that with Jarvis, you're then able to leverage AI to save you time and money and only focus or include the things that are needed to help your blog post rank. So as you can see, when you combine these two, you have a very powerful process of writing and ranking articles. And the best part about using these two softwares is that it's already integrated. So Surfer SEO is already integrated into the long form assistant. So once you've found a keyword in which you want to write about, this is the keyword in which we'll be writing about today because it seems pretty easy to rank for. Now, if you want to see a full keyword research, tutorial, then I'll leave a couple videos below in the description. So the first thing that we want to do is copy or keyword and we're going to head over to Jarvis and we're going to use the long form assistant, but we're going to use the blog post workflow. And essentially what we do now is describe the content that we want to create. So we're going to describe the content as such, how to create email marketing campaigns for lead generation. And we're going to click continue. I usually don't include the keywords here because you can just manually include your keywords, but I always generate a title 
from Jarvis because it's pretty good at giving us titles. So you just wanna go through the titles and see whichever one you like the best, or you can just create your own title. And from intro paragraph, again, I'm going to click generate ideas because Jarvis is pretty good at doing intros as well. Okay, so perfect, you just wanna read through these and whichever one you like the best, just click use this one. And now we're going to go to open editor. Now this is where the fun really starts because previously, if you wanted to use Surfer SEO and Jarvis, you would have to maybe go over to Surfer SEO and optimize and then write your content over at Jarvis and copy and paste. But there's an integration right here, which is called the SEO mode. And once you click SEO mode, Surfer SEO actually pops up at the side of Jarvis. And all you have to do is log into your Surfer SEO account and it's connected. So it's pretty cool because you can start optimizing your content while you're writing it. So this saves you a lot of time because you can write and optimize and then boom, just post it onto your blog. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to paste in our keyword right here and we're going to click create content editor. And once it's finished loading, as you can see here, you have a content score. And this is a content score between zero and 100. Obviously the higher the score, the better. That means your content is more optimized. And right at the bottom here, we can see the words. So the estimated words for this post based on the top 10 websites that are currently ranking for email marketing lead generation is between 2,300 and 2,600. So obviously that's a pretty long blog post, but at least now we know that this is the amount of words that our blog post needs to be. And we can see the amount of headings that we need to have, paragraphs and images. And if we scroll down, we'll see a bunch of different words. And these are keywords in which we have to include within this blog post. But it's not just only the keyword, it also tells us how many times is optimal. So for the target keyword, we wanna include this at least between one to five times, which is not that much. Usually it's a little bit more. Uh, lead generation, we wanna keep in there. Subject line, social media, sense of urgency, and so on and so forth. And what's actually pretty cool is that if you click onto that keyword, it will actually show you an example of use. So you could see here that it talks about lead generation in here and how you can include that within your blog posts. So it not just only tells you what needs to be included, it actually guides you how to include it within your blog posts, which is pretty cool. And if we head over to brief, we can see right here that it's showing us how our blog post should be structured. So it's showing us our H1 or H2, 3, 4, and 6. And as you can see, the first one talks about effectiveness of email marketing for lead generation. And it also even gives us a couple of different options here. And for H2, it talks about what is lead generation. H3 talks about referrals, H4, and so on. So as you can see here, right off the bat, we haven't even went into Google SERPs as yet to see what our competitors are doing. It takes away all of that manual work and a lot of that guesswork that we do, but it puts into a system which you can just follow. So that's why when you combine these two software, it's really powerful for blog post creation. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab some of these H1 tags. So H1, H2. So as you can see, what I've done is I went over to brief and I grabbed a bunch of the H1, H2, H3 and so on tags and that's already giving me some ideas for my subtopics. And I put it into Jarvis over here, obviously it needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but as you can see, we got a, quite a few subtopics here and we have a general idea of how this blog post is going to be structured. And if we go over back to our content score, we're already up to a 41 and we haven't even written anything as yet, right? We've just used Jarvis and we've used Surfer SEO. So now that Surfer SEO has given us an idea for what we need to optimize our blog posts, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the power mode, sorry, the focus mode, so we can start using Jarvis to start writing some content. And when using the long form assistant, what you wanna do is always copy the heading that you're using and update it within the content brief because the quality of the output that you get depends on the quality of the input that you put into Jarvis. And once you've updated the left-hand side, 
with the topic, I'm going to click Compose. Okay, so I'm starting to generate some content here. So in order to generate leads with email marketing, you first need to know who your audience is. And I'm gonna click Compose again to see what else Jarvis is going to give me. Boom, I'm gonna keep on going. So that's finished there, but obviously you wanna read it over, add any information that you wanna um, include as well. Now effectiveness of email marketing. Again, I'm going to paste that in here. And what I'm going to do is put three asterisk, and what that does is that makes sure that Jarvis does not write any content from above. So it just makes sure that we get no duplicate content. So I'm going to try a Jarvis command. Now Jarvis command is included in the boss mode plan, which is the highest plan for Jarvis AI. And what it does is you can give Jarvis a command and it will actually read that command and then do whatever that command says. So I'm going to ask Jarvis to write about the sentence above. And then I'm going to click command enter and let's see what happens. And another cool tip that you can use, if we need some subtopics for this specific heading, then I can copy this here and head over to the power mode, and this will pull up all of the templates available on Jarvis blog post outline. And I'm going to paste in the subtopic that I just copied. So how to generate leads using email marketing. And you just want to go through these and whichever one you like the best or whichever is most relevant to your blog post, then you just want to copy that. And we got some pretty good um, subtopics there. So I'm just going to paste it in here. And I'm going to remove these numbers. And we're just going to repeat the process and get more content for each one of these sub points. And as you can see, I've added in some content using Jarvis. Um, under these subtopics and obviously you want to clean it up and make it look a little bit nicer But again, we have over a thousand two hundred words and this literally took me ten minutes to do and If you continue you can create a two thousand word post in about 30 minutes But also optimize that blog post within the same time. So if we go back to Surfer we'll be able to tell how we're doing right now. So right now it hasn't been uh, updated because it's only 131 words. So let's refresh this and see what happens. Okay, so here we go. We're up to 52 right now, which is not bad. Obviously, we need some more words, but you can tell we have some more um, greens here, but we still have a lot more to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to create some content here and show you guys what it will look like when you create a pretty optimized blog post. And here we go. As you can see, we're already over 2,300 words. So now let's see how we look on Surfer SEO in terms of optimization. So I'm going to refresh this and we're still at only 59. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add in these keywords in places in which it makes sense. So as you can see, as soon as we got into the optimal range, we increased here. So lead generation is another keyword in which I'm going to include a lot more. And so once you've went into your blog post and you've added in all of the headings and all of the targeted keywords in which you're supposed to, obviously you're not going to be able to add every single one of these keywords, but you want to make sure that you're adding in the most important ones and you're adding them in as much as Surfer SEO tells you. So as you can see right now, we're at a score of 72. And the rule of thumb is you don't want to overly optimize and go for 100 or 85 or 90 or whatever, because at the end of the day, you want to make sure that you're also making sure that your blog post is bringing value to the readers and that you're also being focused on customer experience and it's taking an aggregate of data, but it doesn't really take into account the human aspect of reading or getting information online. But with that being said, this is still an amazing, amazing way for you to optimize and for you to be sure that you're creating your content in accordance to what Google ranks on the first page. 
And as you can see, we can't really include any images on Jarvis AI as yet. So once we include some images onto this, I'm sure we'll get this to an 80 or maybe an 85. And once I get something to an 80 or 85, I'm happy with it. And from there, I'll post it on our blog. Another pretty cool feature that's included in Surfer SEO is the ability to audit old blog posts or blog posts that are currently on Google, but you want to increase in rankings. So all you have to do is copy the URL, head back over to Surfer SEO, and we're going to go to audit. And we're gonna keep this to the United States and keep this to desktop as well. And then we're going to run the audit. Now, just keep in mind the way that Surfer SEO works is that depending on which plan that you're on, you'll have an amount of tokens or a limit as to how many audits you can run, how many content editors you can run. And this is really based again upon the plan that you have. So below this video, we'll leave a trial for Surfer SEO in which you can try it out and start auditing some of your old blogs, but also start optimizing for some new keywords. So now that our audit's loaded, we're going to click that. And as we can see, it'll show us our content score. So our content score right now is 69. So I may want to increase that. So I may want to increase that and it shows me which uh, missing backlinks are common. So this is actually pretty cool. It'll show you what are the most common backlinks for that blog post. So if there's like 78 common backlinks that are missing, maybe you can go out and get a backlink for that blog post pretty easily. So this is actually a really, really useful feature. And you can see the internal link. So you wanna make sure that you're internal linking. And there's terms here in which you wanna include within that blog post. It'll show you a list of terms and you can see how many of those you have in, in your blog post and you can add or subtract them depending on what they tell you here. So pretty cool stuff here as well. Again, it shows you the word count, but it kind of breaks it down into your body, introduction and so on. Exact keywords, partial keywords, page structure shows you the H1 structure of the page, images, and it also even gives you the title and meta descriptions that you need. And lastly, it goes over the speed of the page. So as you can see, you get a pretty comprehensive breakdown here of all of your pages and what you need to do to make sure that your page is in accordance to what Google likes to rank. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, but most importantly, you can now go out and use Jarvis and Surfer SEO and really turn up the notch on your content creation. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and if you haven't, click the bell icon so that you can be notified when I create another video. I really appreciate all of the likes, subscribers, and comments that we've gotten recently. It's really pumped me up, so I'm happy to make these tutorials. If you have any suggestions as to what I should create, leave a comment below. Until next time, stay well.